Hello and welcome to my Minecraft Eternal Let's Play series. Well, in this episode, we are in the dungeon under the house. I have explored a little bit of this dungeon down here, and the way that these work is the further down you get, the harder the mobs become, but also the better the loot. And I do have some plans for today, and we will be taking a look at that in a bit, but first off, I would love, ow, would love to first off get rid of all these mobs here, because there is a lot of them, and the armor sounds are, well, annoying. So let's, let's get rid of these, uh, if, if doable. There we go. And I already have quite a bit of loot here because I actually also went mining in a nearby cave. So my backpack is pretty full. Um, and I'm not really too much interested in looting this level right here. Mainly this part. With the, um, with the nether stuff in it. Uh, and I also get a bunch of stuff that I don't even want. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, welcome back to another episode. Ooh, I mean, can't complain much about an Enderman farm. Okay, uh, yeah, oh, no, no. This this place with vines, so just it's annoying. It's annoying here. Ooh, okay, so this is where the 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 nether part starts. Okay, look at this. Hold on. Is that a skeleton? Oh, there's a skeleton there. Uh, do I have any full blocks? Nope. Oh dear. Yeah, see how tough they get? <laughs> That's some armor. Even, and the other, whoa, hey buddy. Okay. Solid blocks, please. Uh, That's not gonna help anything. I'm gonna resort to wood. <laughs> I'm gonna get down here eventually anyway, so... Not too bad. I just really wanna see what's down here. Other than... Hold on. Uh, the destroyer. Oh dear. Whoa. Hey, buddy. Ah! Jail! Well, I got a bow too, you know. First time I think using it. Do I have weakness or something? Well, the bow does better damage, so I'm gonna do that. Eh. Die already. Eesh. Well. There's obsidian here if we ever need it. I'm not sure if I'm willing to go through <laughs> this mess here, cause there be a lot of mobs. I think I'm just gonna head upstairs, cause we actually got quite a bit of work to do. Actually, uh, I know what we're gonna do. We are gonna need ender pearls, so we actually found that enderman spawner at a perfect time. Uh, so let's go and get some ender pearls. And the reason why I want the ender pearls, ow, is because I wanna make. Oh dear, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Hold on. Phew. Yeah, dying not nice. Uh, <laughs> don't need those. Well, I can repair my current ones, I suppose. Like that. But yeah, I want ender pearls so that we can basically make waystones so that we can get over to the new base location easier. And hey, buddy, that's where you're hiding. These vines are annoying. Eh. So let me block off this area and we should be able to get some uh, 
some Enderman. I know this is extremely ugly, but hey. Gotta do with what I with what I got. Oh, there's a cave up there too? No, I think I don't think there's a cave here, so that's good. But yeah, let me get some Enderman spawning. Okay, so here's one. <laughs> now, if I could not die, that would be that would be great. So I died. Um, I'm now a ghost. The pickaxe stayed with me because of the soul bound, and of course I did not get a grave key um, that can well teleport me. So that's fun. Now I gotta find my way back. But at least, at least it shows me where the key, where my grave is, and also. I don't think mobs will attack me, so now I just gotta find my way back. I just want that pearls to make the um to make the warp stone that we need for the actual waystones that those require the pearls and to be honest with you, I think there's gonna be a way easier way than this dungeon. So let me get my stuff and I'll be right back. Alright, here it is. Gotcha in the end, didn't I? Um, so that is one waystone, but I need more. So let me actually get the other pearls that I need. I could buy them from the from the from the shop because I have. Okay, um, now I can't because apparently now I don't have any money. So do you lose the money when you die? Man, that's... I had like a thousand something. I was planning on buying them, but then we've... Well, now I guess we have to resort to this solution. And I mean, I guess I guess that'll work. So yeah, let me do this. <laughs> and uh, I'll be right back. Got three this time. We already have four in total now, so that's good. Eh. Now we got five. What's that? Infinity booster card from AE2. I think that's useful. Oh dear. I should have eaten first. I should have eaten first. I should have eaten first. Whew. This is dangerous work. All right. We now have six. We just need two more. Then we should have enough. Okay. That's one more. And hopefully... This guy. Oh no, not a spider. That's not what I need. That's not what I need. I don't need a spider. Get out of here. Uh, four. Yeah, we need one more. Uh, eat first and heal. All back. So more. Already got that. And there we go. Cool. Let's go home. Yay slash home command. <laughs> Okay, and it's night time outside. Wonderful. And that weird light is not creepy at all. Alright, let me uh, organize my very large and messy inventory and I will be right back and we'll continue with what the plan is. Alright, inventory organized. Got a bunch of materials as well from the cave that was nearby. And why did my cold stone get in there? Okay, cool. Organized. Ding, dung, done. Uh, waypoint and remove my death. And I need to clean up in those. But that's for another time. Let's sleep so we can get the daytime. So if you didn't watch the last episode, in the last episode we set up a Tinker Smeltery right there. Um, I'm hoping to be able to expand that today, but that is not the main uh, priority. Um... Let's make sure the coast is clear, but I will use it though uh, to smelt some of this iron ore. And with the crafting station, you can actually keep stuff in here, so that's pretty cool. And I'm also just going to cook up these parasites. Yeah, it sounds weird, but I'm doing it. <laughs> and what I'm also gonna do is take the run flesh and I'm going to dry that because that gives me monster jerky and that is actually not too bad of a food source so I'm gonna do that might as well use the run flesh for something 
Same with the parasites. Anyways, uh, we should, uh, before we get to this stuff, uh, quests. I did a few quests here. Um, lazy, uh, lazy, lazy river. I basically crafted an oak boat and I made the nature's compass and apparently I got cheap knockoff sunglasses. I mean, oh wow. Yeah, th those seem cheap. <laughs> They they have the same protection as Iron Helmet though, so I mean, <laughs> that's interesting. Um, very interesting. Uh, also, I got a diamond. I'm not sure from where, but I got a diamond. Again, yeah, not sure from where, but I got it. Um, in the last episode, we also got an animal backpack, and I don't know. Is that a bubble thing? Can we place it somewhere? I assume that's for that. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna be useful for anything, but anyways, um, if we take a look at the quest here, what we failed to do in the last episode was actually to do this. And so, that's a bit, that's a bit annoying. I don't know, will it detect? Okay, so it does, Oh, so I could basically, uh, so what I could do, I could actually deconstruct my smeltery out there get the task or get get this stuff done and then I didn't have to go out and redo the entire thing. But that's fine because I want it to be bigger so I'm not gonna do that. I just want it to be bigger so that's fine. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make waystone so we could make waystone so we could get um, over to the new base location because I wanna get started on building over there and also started with industry. And what I wanna do with industry, I basically essentially want to I don't know if that made sense. I want to start with um, with Buildcraft, basically. I want to, where is it? Right here, I want to start with Buildcraft just because I like the Buildcraft pumps, so we might as well get um, started with that. Uh, gotta build that and stuff like that. But that's not for this episode. Main thing is the Waystones. Um, and we have the Emeralds that we need, we have the Ender Pearls that we need, and I believe Ruby was it? Can ruby be used? Or do I need purple dye? I need purple dye. Okay, well, how do I get purple dye then? I didn't think of that. Uh, purple dye is lapis lazuli and red something. I think we got a little bit of lapis lazuli, I think. Violet, lavender. Uh, do we have any lapis? We don't have any lapis lazuli. Can these be made into... Nope. Oh, we do have Lapis Lazuli right here, actually, so I just need something. Or purple. Hold on. Purple, purple. I just need purple dye. And so... I need some form of rose red. That shouldn't be too hard to get, should it? Gotta be some roses around here, or at least some beetroot. Don't I already have beetroot? I don't. Okay. Well, let me go... Actually, I think those will work. I think those will work. Yep, those work. Okay, so I need a couple of these flowers right here. Uh, just one more. I don't like taking from one... Uh, I like to... Where I take flowers and stuff like that, I like to leave some behind. <laughs> Okay, so now we don't need the Lapis Lazuli, actually, so that's good. So that means we should be able to make these warp stones now. Uh, yes. Cool. So that's two warp stones. Now I just need stone brick and obsidian. Obsidian. I know where I can get obsidian. Um, and I also got... The stone brick required now so now all we need is obsidian cool and I only need three of these so get out of here and obsidian is down in that dungeon thing so I see now it's monster jerky not a bad food source I like it but yeah let me get the obsidian and we can set up a um, a 
a waystone and hopefully I will be able to figure out how to actually set it up. But let me get the obsidian. If I can find my way that is. Uh, I think I got it. Yep, got obsidian right here. Should be able to grab this. Uh, so I need three. Huh? I don't know what that is, but I don't like the sound of it. I would like to just grab this and then be on my way, please. Huh. I hope the new base location is not this creepy. <laughs> Where I have weird stuff. Stuff in my basement. I don't want weird stuff in my basement. <laughs> Creepy. Please take me home. <laughs> uh, okay, thank you. Okay, so I should be able to do that. And I think that that should be it. So if I place a waystone, um. If I place, well, first off, because that, no. Uh, if I place a waystone right here, and a waystone name, um, startup base. Okay, and then what I think we should be able to do is place another waystone over at the new base, and then we should be able to travel back and forth. So, that's cool. Okay, now I just gotta travel. Uh, wait for the sun to go down, I think. Is my hand cooked up? Oh, it is. It is indeed. Love it. Um, but yeah, I now need to travel. If I could get daytime, thank you. Need to travel from here all the way over to here. Not too big of a journey. Um, should be able to make that. It's basically in that direction. And yeah, that'll be fun. I think I'm going to make that into a time lapse. Me running from this from here over to there. Just because that'll probably be fun, hopefully. But let me get ready and uh, wait for the sign to smelt, and I'll be right back. Also, it's going to be very helpful if I can get some gravel and sand on the way so I can finish off this grout thing. But that is pretty much the waystone and the warp stone done. That's pretty cool. And I really gotta remember. I really gotta remember to do these tasks while I'm doing a certain project. So I really need to plan ahead. Otherwise, yeah, not good. But yeah, let me get ready. That's a lot of fine. I'm just gonna do that and I'm just gonna run off, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna run off because we will be able to go back and forth. So yeah, let me start the time lapse. Three, two, and the one. And we are here. I mean, look at this biome. Just look at how beautiful it is here. I love this place. I just love it. Now, where am I going to put this? I assume that I can move the waystone once I've actually placed it down. Um, but I think I'm my. I think my plan is that's the oil. But I think my plan is to make like a like make home here. So like make the base I guess here and then have stuff I don't know but I th I'm thinking living in there because I mean who, who wouldn't want to live there it's so conveniently like centered around these um, rivers and stuff I still need to plan out what to do here um, but yeah I think that would be pretty cool so how about that hut over there maybe there's also some Asmagica stuff over there not Asmagica sorry wait hold on you're not supposed to be here ow not as magic as sorry. Um, as for sorcery. Get. Thank you. Oh, I get an emerald back. Cool. But yeah, there's oil. There's as for sorcery stuff. It's just a cool place. There's also that weird portal over there. I don't know what happens when we go through that. There's also um, 
this thing here that I did not know was here. Nature core. I'm not sure what that's all about, but I guess we're gonna find out. And a nature chest. Uh, beans, sugar canes, magic beans. Pretty cool. What do they have? I don't really want this stuff, to be honest with you. I just want them. <laughs> uh, maybe not here. I, yeah. No. Uh, I'm thinking just placing it over in that actual biome, because that will actually be where we are going to be doing the most work. So let's get this placed, and yeah, that, as I said, that weird portal thing there. I don't know what it is and what it's about, but I'm not sure I want to go through right now. All right, so... Uh, I think I want to do it over there, actually. Let me see... Can I get up here? Yes, I can. Sweet. And I'm gonna put it... Eh. I can get up there first without breaking the terrain yet. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it... I'm gonna put it... Right here. And I'm gonna call it new base. I assume we can rename them later. Starter base? Okay, so it will take it will take um some experience to to travel but that that's fine with me that's fine with me and i guess if we want to remain it we can just okay yeah we can do that okay sweet and then we just click start a base and we get teleported that's cool that's cool that's gonna make moving materials and stuff back and forth a whole lot easier for us so i'm really happy that is done all right, so now that we can travel back and forth pretty easily, I think I'm gonna head over to this desert and grab a bunch of sand uh, so I can finish off this stuff up here and so we can finish with that quest. It would appear sand parasites are a thing. Eh, get out of here. Yeah, uh, sand parasites are a thing, so that that's annoying. <laughs> All right, got my sand. It's getting night time. Let's get home. My home is currently uh, still set to the old base, so, but that's fine for now because this is where we're gonna be wanting to get back to. Okay, uh, so I got sand, got a little bit of gravel and clay, um, but that's still not gonna be enough. I still need more gravel and clay. All right, so I did decide to tear apart the uh, the smeltery. Uh, <laughs> That we built in the last episode, just so I could get enough to get the um, the quest here complete. So we did that. We got some gold. We got some of that, and we got magenta plastic barrier apparently. But I did get one stack of this um, grout grout thing, and I am going to expand the smeltery with that. So I'll be right back. All right. So now that we got that, we can pretty much build it right back up. Uh, I don't think I want it in any different shape than before, actually. Um, same kind of thing. I want the smeltery controller there. I'm going to have these... Po not pointing that way. <laughs> I'm going to have these pointing in that direction. I'm going to have them have the faucets. I could do a thing where I make it longer. But I kind of just like it... Um, being tall, I suppose. I mean, I could put some glass here, maybe. Um, Sear grass, glass, but I don't have any more gravel. That's the issue. Nor clay. Well, I have gravel, I think, but I don't have clay. Um, but as you can see now, we are able to have 18 ores in here, but we could actually extend that all the way up to this much. So now we have... I don't know how much is that. Like three more? Nine... 9, 18, 27, 27 ores in here at once. And I could expand this even further, which I've got to do off camera because yeah, I need more clay and such. But yeah, that is going to be pretty much it for this episode. I hope you enjoy it. We now have the waystones up and running, which means we can travel back and forth now um, at the cost of one experience, which is really cool. So we can do that. That is really, really good. I don't know what we will be doing um, at the base area. I want to get building the base, but I think I might do that off camera. So I think we might be doing some industry with Buildcraft um, because I want to get that oil going and I want industry going so we can get further along in the tech tree um, and onto some of this very cool stuff and exploring dimensions and stuff like that. So I think that's going to be a thing, probably industry. But anyways, guys, I rambled up. 
I have been rambling for long enough in this uh, in this outro. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. And goodbye. And of course, leave leave suggestions to what you think I should um, should do next time. Um, because yeah, that's that's always helpful. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. And then, oh dear, goodbye. Tempai a gatos, a ke a gatos, e con talana, we rutasi. Zapu, e fluik ni maya, nifta banting, ni kundi.